Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom, y'all, on this beautiful Sabbath. I wanted to check in with y'all uh, for a second. Uh, welcome to the Man Cave. Uh, I know it's been a minute since I done post, but I'm really trying to get my situation with this Man Cave together, getting my spot up, really been working hard, getting everything together. So just be cool. The next, the next, um, the next one I do is going to be um, officially from the man cave is gonna really be going down. So y'all just be patient. I had a couple personal problems going on. You know, it's real out here. You know, but I wanted to talk with y'all a minute about Donald Trump and the whole election thing. And so we can kind of get a kind of understanding of what's really going on. Now Trump, no doubt, hands down, is probably one of the 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 dumbest human beings on earth. No doubt. We're not going to question that. We're not going to question that at all. He truly is. But what I need y'all to understand and what I want y'all to research and really try to find out and see what's going on, uh, Donald Trump, even though he is an asshole, even though he is a racist, even though he is all these things, he is truly not the real problem in what we're facing. I know that might sound crazy as hell, man. I'm going to try to explain it to y'all a little bit. Now, Donald Trump, he is really in the way of the ones that's really trying to fuck shit up eventually down the line. Trust me. Regardless if it's Democrat or Republican, they all playing on the same bullshit-ass team. Donald Trump just happened to be a little roadblock that's been thrown in the way for some reason on their ass and really is fucking everything up, minus this corona shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I really, I still ain't really been able to figure it out all the way how it's playing in to all of this, but I'm going to figure it out. But I just want y'all to understand that Donald Trump is really not the problem. He is really not the problem. Let's not forget about George Bush, who have started a fucking war 20 years ago down there. Right at 20 years, and that motherfucker still going on. Let's not forget about the real issue and the real thing that's going on and why they still going on, man. Let's not forget. Let's, let's not forget this dude knocked these, these towers down and, and took us into a, the longest war that we done ever had in life. You know what I'm saying? And there's a reason behind all that, man. So you got to realize, Donald Trump, he, he, he really ain't on that, the side of the people that's really been trying to destroy and ha have been destroying the world and sending us into wars and all this shit for years and years. He's not... He's not in that rock a child, rock child, J.P. Morgan, all that. He in that category. He is not. They don't want his ass in office either because he done slowed down everything that they've been trying to do with this dumb ass shit that he done. Now, don't get me wrong. It's just like two wrongs. You know what I'm saying? And it is no right. You know, you know it's, it's like it don't matter if he win again. Oh, my goodness. But if the Republicans or the Democrats get in office, man, oh my goodness, I promise you, man, it's not, it's not, it's not. The best thing you can do is to make it better for your individual situation. And what I mean by that is work hard, do whatever you got to do, man. Take care of your family, your, your the immediate ones right around you, friends or whoever, your, your circles. Concentrate on it and, and leave everything else in the most high's hand because he told you the battle ain't ours. So don't get too caught up in trying to fight and go back and forth with with the high power people and you really can't win. You know what I'm saying? They got too much information and too much on us for us to really try to, to have an equal fight. You know what I'm saying? So handle your business. Take care of your family, your friends, your loved one, man, and leave it in God's hand, man. I just thought I, I'd just run there with y'all real quick. And like I said, y'all stay tuned, man. Like I said, the next episode I'm going to be broadcasting is going to be straight from the man cave. It's really going to be going down. You know what I'm talking about? So y'all stay tuned, man. I love y'all. I'm going to fuck with y'all.